So Karen, I'm a functional psychiatrist here at Human. So with regards to addiction and substance misuse, first let's understand the neurobiology of it. Brilliant. So we know that NAD has got multiple influences on addiction, but, but what is it? So we know that it has huge impacts on the signaling of the neurobiology of addiction. So in addiction, our neurotransmitters go completely off whack and this is mainly from an overdrive of glutamate. Glutamate is the main excitatory neurotransmitter in the system. When this is activated chronically from substance misuse, whichever misuse that is, any kind of addiction. I mean, this is just like things like, I mean, not just chemical abuse, not just alcohol, not just sugar, we're talking gambling, pornography. Any addiction. It's, okay, great. So it's any addictive behavior. It gets burnt. Yes. That's it. So excess firing of the glutamate, way too much excite uh, so toxicity, mm -hmm. too much excitation going on, that actually triggers neuronal cell death so brain cell death over time chronically this is why it's so detrimental tell me would that cell death cause like the hangover the low the, the cravings yeah the, because yeah. when i was in the pits of alcohol addiction i would it was the flat line and it wasn't just you felt hungover you felt sub hunger awful just yeah. like anything to dig yourself out of this fear-based emotion that's it so not only are your you know your brain cells are dying, being damaged. Um, the mitochondria, which are the energy powerhouses of every single cell in the body, get affected by this imbalance of neurotransmitters because of the substances as well. So it has multiple effects. So on the mitochondria, energy production, also neuroinflammation. So if the neurons aren't dying, they become really inflamed and that's when you have a lot of degeneration in the brain. So how does NAD come into this? So know that NAD has amazing um, powerful mediator roles on this whole signaling pathway and it calms down the glutamate firing. It's neuroprotective, so it protects what we call the myelin sheath around the neuron, so that fatty layer that we need for signaling. So it's, it's protecting, it's giving the cells energy, the energy it needs to even start detoxification. This all in combination makes the withdrawal symptoms much more tolerable and you know that if the withdrawal isn't as bad, you're gonna remain abstinent.